Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Cullen, joining you again for another of our daily devotionals together where we seek to invigorate your faith so that we can all better live, love, and act like Jesus. And if you want to pursue an invigorated faith, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that's all we do here. This week, we're practicing intercessory prayer as we reflect on Psalm 35, taking situations and interceding in those moments with prayer. And I love this in Psalm 35, verse 3. It says, Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Now, as I said on Monday, so often our words reveal what's happening in our heart. And I don't know that I'm 100% comfortable with someone asking for these things. But they're revealing the heart and they're beginning a conversation with God. That's one of the things that intercessory prayer does is it allows us in our situations to hear from the Lord about how we should be responding. But I love this. The psalmist is asking for something very dark, right? Draw the spear and the javelin. Go on attack against these people who are pursuing me, against these enemies that I have. Go kill them. That's what he's asking for. But the purpose is below. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. So often we get in these moments of depression or anxiety or anger, uh, any of these overwhelming negative emotions, and really all we're looking for is some assurance that God would look down and say to us, I am your salvation. And so in these moments, intercessory prayer is fantastic because it allows God to have a moment to speak. And I believe he would say, I am your salvation. So any of these moments of negative thoughts, of trial, of tribulation, affliction, circumstance. Seek out and pray to God and ask that he say to your soul, I am your salvation. Wow, so beautiful. Well, if you are ready to go practice intercessory prayer for your moments of trial and struggle today, go ahead and like this video. That lets me know that you're enjoying and being edified by the content. And join me again tomorrow for another reflection in Psalm 35 and practice of intercessory prayer.